Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Coach Wildman. Welcome to the Volleyball Canada Nationals. Uh, my final and last guest of the last six days is Trinity Western Women's Head Coach Ryan Hofer. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me, Dave. You can have a crowd in front. Well done. Um, anyways, we're going to go over some questions for the next 20 minutes. Um, this year you guys had an amazing season uh, coming out of COVID. Uh, you guys were stuck in this pool of death, if you will, and I talked about it with Doug Reimer yesterday. For sure. Uh, and how did, how did you bounce out, out of coming out of COVID with your team, especially being a favorite to win nationals back in March 2020? And I remember being there with you when when, uh, when it all got canceled. So cu coming out of that, what was the team vision? How was the team culture? And, and how did the season go? Well, I think COVID allowed us to be in the best shape of our lives. We just never stopped working out. The girls were fit. The girls were strong. They could go quite a few days in a row going into the championships and still being doing very well. I believe fit fatigue makes cowards of us all. And we all get, we'll give up, but we're too tired. And so the girls really invested in their strength and in their fitness. And that's, COVID was certainly a help for that. We wanted to find the good in COVID. Everybody in the world was dealing with it, but what could we do to find little good things? And that was part of our theme that year. What is the good in all of this? So we have so many aspiring athletes here, uh, hoping obviously to play at the next level. And TWU, just like many other universities, are a, a very sought-after program. So when you're doing your recruiting, uh, what do you look for in an athlete? I'm looking for freaky skill. Freaky skills. What are the things that you can do that I can't teach you? So is there something about your height, how hard you're hitting, your ball control? Is it have to do with maybe a heavy arm? And so what are the things that I can add to you? Because I can teach you how to pass and set and hit. But what is that? What are you going to bring that's pretty unique and special? Okay, so uh, TWU is again known for, uh, especially under, uh, under, you, under you, is really known for the team culture. Um, how does your team, uh, how do you build this culture? How do you maintain this culture with year in and year out, new athletes, athletes retiring, and uh, uh, keeping that dream alive? My players help me do the recruiting, so my players have a hand in every athlete that comes in. They meet them, they greet them, they get to know them. Are they someone that is a Spartan? And we use the word, she's a Spartan, S A S S. Is she a Spartan? And so they give me feedback on them. And if they feel that she's a Spartan, they give me a thumbs up, and away we go from there. We also have a lot of culture phrases, phrases that impact what we're doing. And so we have one rule, protect the team. Are our decisions in line with that? Our overarching theme as a team is live free, play free. Can we bring, can we live lives that have more freedom coming out of our program than when they came in? And can we learn to play free? Playing free is very, very difficult. Under stress, we've got all these emotions and fears and distractions and everything that comes at us. And can we find a way of kind of releasing it and letting it go? Uh, another one of our phrases is tucking together. When we play our opponents, we want to be tough, we want to be together, and we want to create an environment that we're going to be tough to be against. We also had a theme this past year that was pretty important, and that was belonging. We belong. And there's three components. We wanted to make sure that our identity was belonging to something greater than just our performance. Because every day we get asked, well, how's volleyball? What's going on with volleyball? And I'm a dad, I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm all these other things, but we get attached to volleyball. And so how can we learn to separate that and have identity in something greater than just winning and losing? We also wanted to create a sense of belonging within the team and creating a culture where people were more than just fitting in. If they actually belong. Fitting in is you changing yourself to make sure that you're adapting. And we wanted people to make sure that they were accepted for who they are, that they could bring their unique skills and abilities. And then we wanted to earn the right to belong at the top of the podium every day. So how do you deal with team management? Uh, is that something that you push on to maybe your assistant coaches? It's their role to, to deal with that? Or, um, I mean, there's a lot of... A lot of athletes here, 16 and U18s are here right now, and uh, there's no, you know, fair sub role, even sub role. How do you how do you manage roles and personalities when it comes down to what they 
what they need to do for the team to be successful. I want to believe that everybody has a margin of victory, no matter where you are. If you're on the sideline, if you're rising, if you're on the floor, if you're getting lots of sets or no sets, I want to believe that you are the margin of victory. And if you ask every one of the girls on my team or women on my team that play, they will tell you that it was the sideline that helped them win the championship. It was the energy, it was the passion, it was the encouragement, it was the building into one another that really helped them play and perform the best. And so, if each person on that team believes that they're the difference maker of the success of their team, then they're bought in, no matter where they are on the team. Uh, with the previous uh, national team experience and, and many TWU players making national teams, how do you prepare athletes who are wanting to take the next step, which is obviously pro, national, and international uh, level of play? It's my goal to not be their last coach. I'm hoping that they come through and they have an incredible experience. I believe being having an environment that's playful, that's fun, that's hard working, is gonna create an environment where you're ready and you can continue to go on after that. If you're burnt out, tired, exhausted, not happy with the sport, then you're not gonna play on. So we want you to get in the best shape of your lives. We've got great strength trainers. We want you to know how to lead so that you can be a leader when you go on. And then we want to make sure that you're going to just get really, really good at volleyball. And then from there, if you're in a position where you can go on, I'm pumped to pass them on to the next person. So how, how does your team deal with and uh, manage mental health at this point in time? Do you have someone who's specific, like a, 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 a mental health coach? Um, yeah. I was surprised. I had year-end meetings with the, with the athletes, and I was shocked at how many of them used outside sources that we had to just talk to and bounce ideas off of. I don't encourage anybody who's playing. Like, you, you can't be a silo. You can't be on your own. But I'm talking to my captain, and she's talking to a counselor about something else. And I'm talking to this person. She's talking to a sports psych person. To have someone else that you can talk to, bounce ideas off, that can be challenged, not just let you sit in or wallow or just kind of sit where you're at, but can challenge you to take ownership for what you're doing and be a great teammate no matter your role was a big part in helping us go all the way. So how do you manage the nerves? I mean, I'm looking at the national championship game versus MRU. Uh, kudos to them for getting getting going the distance, uh, taking a set off you guys too. So uh, how do you manage that after that, you know, you take your down, you're, you lose a set. How do you bring everything back? back to that core value and back to that goal. So we unpack one thing. I believe when players aren't playing their best or they're not potential, we call it being in the cave. So you're not playing your best, you're in the cave. How can you help someone get, in the, get out of the cave? And I've been in some really important matches and games and I've gone to players like, what do you need? And they're like, I don't know. And we're like, you lost. So I said, I vowed that would never happen again. So. As a team, from the very beginning of the season, we started unpacking what each person needed in that moment. And everybody on the team knew what so-and-so needed and what so-and-so needed in order to play the best. And in that finals, I had, and then during the tournament, I had three girls who were in the game, or three girls that were struggling or weren't playing their absolute best. And we would be able to connect with them real fast. I went to the bench and said, who can help so-and-so? And they said, I can't, boom, they were on it. I knew what to say to another player because I'd messed up two weekends before that and said the wrong thing. And so I said, I managed to just say the right things to her. She went out there, three kills, boom, 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 five serves later, championship done. Now, not that it was us, but we learned how to speak to each person's language so that they could perform their best. So you speak about being a father, a coach, a husband, all, all of this. Uh, I know, unfortunately, Trinity Western was uh, not successful on the male side and your son plays on that team. How do you manage that going home? How do you, you have this high of, you just won a national, uh, the boys fell, uh, the men fell a little bit short obviously. How do you deal with that? Because I think all these athletes go through highs and lows throughout this weekend, right? I gave him a big hug. I tell him I'm real proud to see him be a part of the team. As a parent, the number one thing that I say to my boys is I am so excited to see you as a part of a team. We don't talk about volleyball. The only reason I get on my kids is if they're bad teammates. That's it. I don't really speak to them about it. I don't challenge them. I'm just, I want to see them be great teammates. 
I don't want to give him a hug, knowing that their value as a person is not connected to playing time. It's not connected to whether or not they're on the floor, off the floor, getting points, playing poorly, playing badly. I could care less. So, what advice do you have to parents uh, that are here to obviously support their, their, their daughters and sons uh, during these six days? Um, the process for, you know, the journey for each kid is unique. Uh, what word of advice would you give the parents that are trying to help them um, go on to the next level, college or university? I think there's a component where if you want to see your son or daughter move on, there's a, you've got to promote yourself. Just create a highlight link. Get that link to the coach's hands. If you want to play post-secondary, start feeding your links out to the coaches that you want to play for. And hopefully every coach can get back to you and you can respond. And be persistent. If you hear nothing, go again, go again. The athletes that contacted me the most are the ones that I connect with the most. And I just you just got to manage. They're getting 60 emails into their inbox. What are you going to do to stand apart in that? Until you hear a no, keep going at it. So what can we as club coaches do to make uh, the process easier? Uh, what should we be you know, really focusing on in, in regards to skill development uh, so that you guys are not reteaching it at that age group or, or at U18? Is there something we're missing? It's hard coming out of COVID. I don't think there's uh, something specifically that we're missing. We just need to let the game do the teaching. Like we've got to find this balance about teaching skills, teaching the game, getting in the games, playing a lot of six on six, making sure that the right skills are being taught. I think if each coach is learning and growing, if you feel you know it all, I, I remember, I felt I knew it all. Went to a clinic, realized I know nothing. I think we've got to keep advancing and keep learning and growing as coaches. I'm trying to learn something new every single year. And if I think if we keep doing that, you're going to start just growing and you're going to make your players better. Who are your mentors? Oh, everybody I talk to. I can talk to a junior high school teacher and they're a mentor to me. I can talk to a national team coach and they're a mentor to me. I learn, I can talk to my athletes and I learn something. I never want to stop learning. Fair enough. Um, I think you touched on this, but uh, what are your, what's your biggest piece of advice for athletes who want to take their game to the next level? Get a little bit of rest in there, that's important. My boys never play volleyball all year round. They did a lot of water sports in the summer, but when you're in it, dive in it. Take extreme ownership for your performance. Don't let people make excuses for you. Take ownership for where you're at. Get into every opportunity to play, learn, get someone to take private lessons if you have to, and then just do a really good job of promoting yourself to coaches with highlight videos, with links, and those athletes or those coaches that can help you become a better player. I, I saw that you're working with uh, the national is it the national team or the next next gen uh, with Shannon. Uh, what, what, is, what does your summer look like? Is this your off season? It's for sure my off season. I think I'll be in the gym a little bit helping out, but she's got a great group of staff and people around. And if I can be a support in any way, I look forward to it, but I think they're in good hands. Future hold for uh, the Trinity Western women's team. I think we're going to be pretty good next year, but I think there's a lot of teams that are going to be pretty good. I'm looking forward to some exciting volleyball. Awesome, Ryan. Well, I really appreciate your time. Thanks for being here. And uh, we'll be posting this on YouTube and Volleyball Canada's uh, Facebook page. So. Cool. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Thanks. Straight off speed so far. I said, did I? I spent hours.